this shit tastes quantum. <laughs> That's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Avengers Endgame. Yes, the movie that pretty much we've been building up to ever since we ever started Iron Man. And I mean that literally. While I'm obviously not going to spoil anything for you guys, I am going to try and describe the film as best as I can without revealing anything, which admittedly will be a little bit of a challenge but more so just talking about the characters and the development and then how the story unfolds. Endgame is a two-parter in the sense that it's bringing this story, this line of stories of the last 10 years to a conclusion, while at the same time paying homage to everything that paved the way leading up to this moment. And I mean that literally. They pay homage to moments throughout the entire series, all of the films in fact, even Incredible Hulk, even Iron Man 2, even Thor 2. Because admittedly, how they go about the events that unfold after the snap admittedly would have been a lot of head scratching in terms of the writer's room. Like the two writers for this film, I give them credit for and putting so much into this story, so much into this film, not just in terms of action, but also in terms of development for the characters. Everyone obviously is really depressed after the snap. There's this hopelessness, there's this loss. Tony Stark is the lowest you've ever seen him. Thor is the lowest you've ever seen him. We see these characters at their literal worst, and we see that for quite some time before things start kind of ramping up towards you know, the finale. And I actually liked that they stayed in this realm of depression they really made the snap have weight they made that matter we had the characters go through this tribulation they kind of talked about the idea of what had happened to the world since the snap had happened and then middle of the movie gets started then it gets really fun I'll admit as impactful as the opening is it's not very fun there's not a lot of jokes to be made there's some cool moments here and there that might give you a chuckle but I did notice that the theater was kind of very dead quiet through a lot of the first quarter of the film. Then once things start to get going, once the action starts playing through and all the pieces start coming together, it's actually funny because like I said, the homages and the the callbacks to things from the past. And then as they're progressing towards the climactic conclusion, things then change again. It's like a three flow movie. The first is just deep, dark, going to hot topic. Middle is, all right, maybe let's beef it up. Let's go to McDonald's and like, feel bad about ourselves and then the third one's just straight up cocaine doritos and mountain dew i couldn't believe how much shit was getting real in this movie because every time i thought shit was getting real shit would get real the film has such a climactic conclusion i could feel my heart pumping in my chest i was so so enthused that or it's onset diabetes almost all the characters of the main original cast have a conclusion to their arc almost every character has moments throughout the film that is spread out it's evenly divided just like infinity war was and it doesn't hold your hand either just like infinity war but in terms of a rewatchable movie i would say it is once the second quarter starts so almost halfway through the movie the first half like i said while is impactful i wouldn't care to watch that i'm gonna go see it again and i know that if i did forget to take a piss i'll just take a piss again in the first quarter of the movie because that's the point where i feel that you could just walk out of the theater for that point it does have obviously much more uh, impact on the story and the characters than infinity war was but i feel infinity war was a great movie like it is the best movie i feel in the entire marvel series this is a great homage to the marvel movies it just had so high of an expectation and admittedly it almost matches it in terms of finales to stories like this how often can you say that expectations are met and even exceeded to my point the story did take changes that i was appreciative of because there was a few moments that i thought that were about to happen but they didn't there was a few things that did surprise me there was a few things that people have been kind of thinking about for a long time and they did make those true so while i'm saying an avengers endgame is not better than infinity war but some people may disagree with me i totally understand that uh, some people will be like this is the end of it all and it's true i'm just saying if i were to choose which movie to watch over again i would watch infinity war over endgame endgame would be second because this is pretty much the grand opus this is it this is 
the end of Marvel, for me at least. I know people are excited for Spider-Man. I know people are excited for whatever else they do, but I don't care. I may watch them on DVD, but I don't care anymore because this is what they've all been building to. They will never top this. They will never have an event as big as this because they'd have to kill the universe again. It'd just be completely anticlimactic. It's why I don't give a crap about Dark Phoenix, amongst other reasons. But in the end, Endgame is a great conclusion to this series. It's a great conclusion to some of the characters and it starts laying the groundwork for what is to come. And I did enjoy it and it doesn't feel like a Justice League movie. So you always gotta be happy for that. I will give Endgame a seven out of seven. I did enjoy this movie. I will watch it again. I do feel this is a good end of the book for the Avengers movies, for me at least. They won't ever beat this, but I guess we'll see. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. I might be do a spoiler review because there are a few moments that I really wanted to talk about in this review, but I couldn't, obviously. So anyways, that's all for me. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. You know, Nitz, you can't get more money unless you offer questionable favors. Yeah, guy. Unless, of course, those favors involve the ladies, guy. By support, I mean getting the word out, guys. Oh, well, couldn't you find a better means than this guy? All he seems to talk about is supernatural. Or hold a coffee mug real awkward. Why didn't you ask a Kardashian or something? Yeah, guy. Get in with the ladies, guy. Hey, he's trying to help out. Like you've been trying with Kimmy Burton? I've seen Jabba the Hutt finish a marathon faster. Yeah, guy. You're a massive slug thing, guy. <sighs> To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.